Good evening, and welcome to We Lied to You News. We've got exciting stories for you today about how governments around the world are trying to abolish free speech, monitor and track citizens with digital IDs. We'll also tell you about how morally righteous people are acting like immoral idiots. And we'll conclude with all that has to be done to destroy America. Spoiler alert! It's currently being done. One of the Biden administration's dirtiest little secrets has been spilled. And please keep in mind what you're about to hear about what they're doing is strictly for national defense purposes where the government is defending itself from its nation's citizens. An exclusive footage that we've obtained by copying it from another news organization that went to the trouble of breaking the story, we've learned that the Biden administration has been tracking and spying on all people who flew into DC on January 6, 2021, even if they didn't go to the Capitol. Take a look. By that, you're following January 2021 people. What does that mean? That means our primary mission is a little group called Quiet Skies. It's a mission called Quiet Skies that we're following people that flew into the national capital region in January 2021. You did not have to go to the Capitol or the rally, and you've been put on a specific list that TSA now has assigned air marshals to follow these people who have not had uh, any type of criminal investigation. They haven't committed a crime, but yet three years later, we're following the same individuals day in and day out. If that sounds extreme, may we remind you that at least all those US citizens are still being secretly tracked and followed by the government for the offense of committing no crime. And may we remind you of the quote that no tyrant wants you to know. Patriotism is supporting your country all the time and your government when it deserves it. Meanwhile, the world's most proud sanctuary state, New York, has a governor who believes that what the Biden administration is doing just isn't going far enough. Governor Katie Hochul has announced that she's creating a task force to monitor the social media activity of New York citizens. Take a look. Also, we're very focused on the data we're collecting from surveillance efforts. What's being said on social media platforms? And we have launched an effort to be able to counter some of the negativity and reach out to people when we see hate speech being spoken about on online platforms. Yeah, but don't worry, it's to counter hate speech. And hate speech does need to be countered because hate speech is covered by the First Amendment. Now, because you're a moron, just to be clear, the dreaded hate speech can be defined as anything that runs counter to the state-sponsored narrative. And that's how I keep myself a job. What a progressive policy that the New York governor is putting in place, which reminds us that New York generated the glorious Patriot Act, which helped grease up the slippery slope that we've been sliding down for over 20 years now. And the official narrative on the Patriot Act is that it's great. Meanwhile, Ireland looks at that and says, hold my beer. Yeah, all seven of them. How so? Well, an Irish Green Party senator took the floor to demand, we must restrict freedom of speech in order to make people feel safe about their gender identity. Check it out. When you think about it, all law, all legislation is about the restriction of freedom. That's exactly what we're doing here, is we are restricting freedom, but we're doing it for the common good. You will see throughout our constitution, yes, you have rights, but they are restricted for the common good. Everything needs to be balanced. And if your views on other people's identities go to make their lives unsafe, insecure, and cause them such deep discomfort that they cannot live in peace, then I believe that it is our job as legislators to restrict those freedoms for the common good. For the common good. I'm glad she remembered to say that, because otherwise I'd be dumb enough to think restricting freedom was bad. And she's right. Abolishing free speech so that nobody feels insecure about their self-diagnosed gender identity is important. Giving up something real to protect something that's imaginary is for the greater good. Otherwise, insecure people might feel their insecurity. And luckily, Ireland is already enforcing their new free speech eroding anti-hate speech laws, which have Irish authorities investigating Conor McGregor. His crime? Well, probably many crimes, to be honest. But what the Irish government is investigating him for is hate speech. On social media, 
Connor spoke out in anger about the five children in Ireland who were stabbed by an immigrant. And when we look in our best rainbow-colored legal books, we can confirm that being angry about such a thing does qualify as hate speech because it's not inclusive to the immigrant that did the stabbings. And Elon took a break from controlling everything in the world to chime in, suggesting this could literally happen to you for having a meme on your phone in Ireland. From there, in Israel versus Palestine news, Elon was pictured touring the aftermath of the attacks on Israel with Benjamin Netanyahu. Why was Elon there? Well, we have reports that Elon was probably just looking for some more lithium for his environmentally friendly cars that run on coal-powered electricity. And we don't think he found any, unfortunately. And the American youth, who apparently believe most of what we tell them, are getting pretty pro-Palestine. Here's a trans non-binary TikToker who started reading the Quran and is thinking about converting to Islam. Just started reading the Quran and I am so excited about it. The way that the Quran describes things actually makes sense to me. And also, did you know that Allah is beyond gender? Chickens for KFC doesn't make sense to chickens, yet this makes sense to he, she, they. I wonder which animal has a bigger brain. And over the weekend, pro-Palestine protesters blocked the Manhattan Bridge, preventing traffic flow while chanting for a ceasefire. Now I haven't checked yet, but them being over 5,000 miles away in a country that is not firing any weapons, I suspect their efforts were very effective. Fair enough. But in contrast, in New Zealand, this is how police handled a pro-Hamas protester. Got him. Let's see that again. Yep, he definitely stopped protesting after that. And in other news about how you're being heavily surveilled for the common good and it'll only get worse if you allow it, here's former Prime Minister of the UK, Tony Blair, talking about the importance of digital IDs for tracking. tracking. This, this issue to do with the technology and the digital infrastructure, I just want to emphasize how important I think that is. Because in the end, you, 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 you need the data you need to know who's been vaccinated and who hasn't been. Officially, I agree with you, Tony. And unofficially, I don't think anybody needs to know about my medical records, sport. Let me see Tony again. Ah yes, shocking to see that he's at the World Economic Forum while talking about tracking citizens with digital IDs and mandating things. Normally the WEF only talks about, well, those things. Plus the climate and their green agenda. Speaking of which, nations that follow the WEF's green initiatives are beginning to confiscate land from farmers, as they're doing in the Netherlands. You know, to save the climate. However, a Croatian member of the European Parliament is pushing back against the EU's implementation of the WEF's agenda to, well, stop growing food. Recently, he said this to the EU Parliament. Jedini pravi cilj. Ovog zakona je konfiskacija privatnog vlasništva i oduzimanje poljoprivrednog zemljišta poljoprivrednicima. Što ima krajnji cilj, a to je nedostupnost organske hrane građanima. Znači, želi se onemogućiti prosječnom građaninu da može jesti normalnu hranu. The EU is using the climate scam as a pretext to seize agricultural land from farmers with the ultimate goal of creating deliberate food shortages? I'm offended by his words, which means his words are hate speech, which means he should be in jail. Fun fact, communist regimes have a history of creating food shortages for the purpose of thinning the population while putting people in a state of desperation which makes them more compliant. For example, Mao's farmland grab caused 45 million people to starve to death. Stalin's farmland grab caused 3.9 million people to starve to death. Those communist dictators were able to confiscate the farmland because they told citizens it was for the greater good. What makes this different is that the WEF and its members confiscating farmland are telling citizens that they're doing it for the greater good. In both instances, the regimes are doing the same thing while telling citizens the same thing. Therefore, what's happening today is probably different. And finally, destroying America. 
U.S. service member Tim Kennedy had this to say about how to destroy the USA. Make art ugly. Well, Hollywood does that. Make porn free. I never pay for mine. Make God a joke. Always important for communism to take root. Make food poisonous. Why does Bill Gates put so many ingredients in his fake meat? Make dads optional. Well, masculinity is toxic. Make politicians rich. Well, Nancy Pelosi sets the bar pretty high on this one. Make money worthless. Well, inflation is pretty magical for this. Make news entertainment. Well, we do know if it bleeds, it leads, and here you are watching us. Make men and women compete. Well, there's really no competition when you get down to it. Make kids hate their ancestors. Well, they were all just a bunch of misogynistic racists. But the good news is that we're currently doing all these things that you need to do to destroy the USA. But of course, the way we're doing these exact same things isn't to destroy America. We're doing it for the common good of all. We know you believe that because thinking that we're actually trying to destroy America while you let it happen is too scary for you to think about. Your obedience during the pandemic proved to us that you don't have that kind of courage. So, it's all for the common good is what we're agreeing on, right? That's it for today's news. Everything is going according to plan and we sincerely appreciate your silence and passivity so it can continue moving along. Now go have yourself some fake meat, medicate yourself, and turn in your gun so you won't be able to stop us even if you tried. Good night. Some people choose to be completely passive, somehow expecting they'll accidentally stay healthy. I am not one of those people. I love to be proactive with my health and wellness, and Bond Charge helps me do it. Bond Charge is a holistic wellness company that makes a wide range of amazing products to uplift your health and vitality in every way. And Bond Charge's EMF shielding products help me solve a problem I didn't know how to solve before. In our modern world, we know our surroundings are inundated with EMF radiation from cell phones, wireless devices, Wi-Fi, cell phone towers, it's everywhere. And I personally don't like to be someone else's experiment, but the problem was I didn't know what to do about it. I didn't know how to protect myself. But then I learned about Bond Charge's easy to use, very effective EMF shielding products, like the harmonizing bracelet. BAM! Both stylish and helpful for protecting against harmful radiation. I've got my EMF radiation blocking hoodie. And behold, my EMF radiation blocking laptop mat. Now the cells of my body and my sex organs are much more protected against EMFs. Bond Charge's EMF shielding products have been shown to block up to 99% EMF radiation. You'll also love things like Bond Charge's EMF radiation free air tube headphones. Would you like to talk to people on the phone without nuking your brain cells? Bond Charge helps you do it. Hats, beanies, harmonizing stickers. Bond Charge has the widest range of EMF shielding devices I've ever seen. Since I've been using the products, not only am I protecting the cells of my body as much as possible, it also eliminates my worry and gives me much more peace of mind. Breaking news! This holiday season, Bond Charge is offering a massive 25% off everything site-wide. Just head over to bondcharge.com slash JP and the 25% code will automatically be applied at checkout. The time has never been better or less expensive to take your health and wellness to the next level thanks to Bond Charge.